Y'all get ready? Yes, you get Y'all ready. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your teacups ready because this tea is what? Piping hot. Hey, you guys, it's your girl T. So I want to come on here and talk about the whole Slim Thug situation. So basically what went down is that Slim Thug went on to 97.9 The Box. And for some reason, I'm not understanding why Sierra and Russell Wilson's name got brought up. But Slim Thug feels like he knows this whole marriage conspiracy thing. And he feels like a female like Sierra, who was with a thug-ass dude like Future, cannot be happy with the square or a cornball, whatever the hell he called Russell Wilson. And he feels like Sierra's only with Russell Wilson for the money. I'm going to go ahead and play you guys this clip. Go ahead and check this out and I'm going to come back with the rest of my commentary. Russell Wilson. Do a woman who used to talk the future really want to Russell Wilson? <laughs> obviously, what? Obviously, that's a good question. Like, I don't believe it. I think Why? it's all financial stability. I don't think that oh, after wow. you, after wait a minute, after wait you a like minute. the dude who cool, Again, homeboy, wait a homeboy just, he's super, like, no hate. I bought his shoes the other day with a sugar daddy slim outfit. <laughs> but I'm just saying, like, I, I have no personal issue with him, like, or her. You know, I mean, God bless him. But I don't believe that a, a, a girl who time why again he, cool? why, why he, he, he just a corny dude like why? ain't nothing wrong with it he just so like cause uh, he ain't sold no drugs nah no. it ain't even that it's just, it's just it, nah it's just his whole movement he, nah I ain't gonna say corny cause that's hating he just like a square like he, I bought this man's shoes the other day so okay. I have no personal issue with him like he cool but I but just he's straight laced Clean cut Clean guy, guy. Yeah, never done like, no wrong. Follow I don't, the rules. I don't believe that a girl who come with from a street dude could even adapt to. So it. you don't think that? Uh All right, y'all, so you guys just heard what Slim Thug had to say. So after this interview went viral, when I tell you social media was dragging his ass, okay? First of all, Slim Thug shouldn't really have anything to say about their relationship, being that he wasn't even able to keep Toya because he kept cheating on her. If you guys forgot, back in 2010, Slim Thug admitted to cheating on LaToya Luckett of Destiny's Child, well, formerly Destiny's Child, honey. He cheated on her with his own cousin and got his cousin pregnant. So Slim Thug has no place to talk about anybody's relationship, who's in it for the money, who's not in it for the money, when you out here having damn side babies with your cousin. Sir, have a tall glass to shut the fuck up. Thanks. And now she's remarried to somebody that he might consider a cornball, and she's doing just fine. Meanwhile, Slim Thug, I don't know if he's single, but he's not married. We know that for a fact, okay? So after people drug him, he decided to clean it up, somewhat apologize, but basically, you know, back backtrack on his statement and clear up what he meant go ahead and check this out and i'm gonna come back with the rest of my commentary okay first of all i want to apologize to russell wilson for uh saying that he's lame and corny really i ain't mean that i was trying to say good guy versus bad guy swag but they made a clip you know how the internet do they're gonna cut it out and make you sound crazy for, for your clicks and shit but anyway, the question of it, I shouldn't even use them as an example, but it was the only example I knew. So the question I had was, can a woman who was attracted to a bad boy, let's just say bad boy, can she switch it to a clean cut guy? You know what I'm saying? I don't believe that if you, I, I believe if you like street dudes, you like street dudes, you know what I'm saying? I think that a woman would do that for financial stability and, you know, for the better of her kids or a better, you know, side of life as she grow older. But I don't think that's initially in her heart who she really, you know what I'm saying, feel like she want to be with. I could be wrong. I'm a rapper. What you think? All right, so you guys just heard what Slim Thug had to say. Of course, he blamed it on editing. And then he said that the real question is, can a woman who used to date street guys or thugs, can she settle down with the square? Or is it only for financial reasons? I get what he's saying, but at the end of the day, you know what I'm saying, why is that the question? Why is he looking at it from that vantage point? Why is he not looking at it like, you know what, Sierra made a mistake by getting with thug ass future who had all these damn kids by different women. She thought for some reason, once again, her womb would be different. And Future proved himself to be what he was when she met him, a cheater, a liar, and he barely sees his kids, you know what I'm saying? Instead of him giving Sierra props for being mature enough to say, you know what, I made a mistake 
by dating and procreating with this type of man, okay? I love my child, but maybe he wasn't the best father, the best choice. So now instead of keeping myself in that abusive situation where I'm getting cheated on and, you know, he's not marrying me and I'm just pumping out all types of kids, she decided to pack her shit up and move on, okay? She moved on to something bigger and better. Russell Wilson is doing well for himself. He basically took on her son future as his own and they also had their own daughter together now so why is he not looking at it like you know what Sierra did good instead of her getting pregnant and having a baby by one thug after another thug after another thug she became wise after her first mistake and did better you know what I'm saying why does it have to be about him being a cornball or him being a square I don't understand why these hip-hop dudes are so mad at Sierra or they keep throwing shade at Sierra not only him but it's been other rappers who've thrown shade at her also her baby's father it's almost like some of these guys are so mad that she moved on and she's doing good and she's living her best life it's like they would rather have her be in this detrimental relationship with future having low self-esteem being cheated on just so they feel good about the situation I'm glad that she moved on you know what I'm saying Russell Wilson also went through his share of issues he was dating a white woman he probably thought you know th the grass was greener he had himself you know a white woman and things would be better and what did she do she ended up cheating on him she broke his heart and they ended up breaking up you know what I mean? And now he's with Sierra. They look happy together. They're raising their family. They're doing well. Why can't it just be that? Why does it have to be psychoanalyzed? You know what I'm saying? You know, it's like they don't want her to do well. You know, they want her to be in this situation and be stagnant. And it's not okay. We should be happy that Sierra learned from her mistake and she moved on. You know, I find it sad and it seems like a lot of people are not used to black women being treated right. They're not used to black women being treated like queens, being treated like princesses, being treated like good women. And that's what Russell Wilson has done for Sierra. And it seems like it turns a lot of people off, you know. It's like people would have nothing to say if she was being abused, if she's being mistreated, if she's being cheated on. You know, we're so used to those type of dysfunctional relationships. Just like I just talked about in my Fetty Wap videos. That's what people are used to. But when they see somebody who's in a healthy relationship and who's happy, it seems to have a lot of these guys out here pressed and it makes no sense. And especially when a lot of these guys have multiple children out of wedlock by by multiple women let's just take Fetty Wap for example this man has all types of kids by different women how come Sim Thug is not checking him on his reckless behavior why is that not a discussion why are you not saying black man you know what I'm saying stop having children if you cannot be in the household to raise them and to be a good role model and to be a good father why are we not encouraging that more men take the route of Russell Wilson than that of Fetty Wap that's really what the discussion should be it shouldn't be about Sierra because she learned from her mistake but your boy Fetty Wap, your fellow rapper, you know what I'm saying? He hasn't learned from his mistake. He's still out here procreating and having a bunch of different children by different women, and they're all taking to social media to complain on his ass, okay? So this entire situation is just really crazy, and I feel like men who have children out of wedlock, they don't have the right to tell Russell Wilson, who had no children, what to do with his body, who he can be with, who he can have children with. That is his business, you know what I'm saying? Obviously, he saw something in Sierra that Future didn't see, and he snatched her up, and I say, kudos to both of them they're doing well their children are well their relationship seems well from what we see I don't I don't know what goes on behind closed doors but from what we see everything seems to be going well and I'm happy for Sierra and like I said I'm glad that she was able to move on and learn from her mistake and not stay in an abusive cycle with some guy cheating on her and lowering her self-esteem you know what I mean I'd rather have her be with Russell Wilson than be in a situation like Tiny and T.I. there's nothing healthy about that but yet and still these hip-hop dudes they won't call out T.I. They won't talk about the way he mistreats his wife. But you guys are mad that Russell Wilson chose Sierra and they're living their best life? Like, get the hell out of here with the bullshit, okay? What I see is a lot of jealousy and a lot of people mad that Sierra, you know, she had a kid by future and she was able to come up, okay? Women of other races come up all the time. They can come to relationships with all types of baggage and you have black men who will accept that. Think about the whole Delicia situation, okay, when she got with LaShawn. She came to that picture with two kids by two different black man and LaShawn didn't think twice he accepted her he accepted the two children he moved them into the household and then she refused to move out okay that happens all the time with women of other races but when a black woman comes into a relationship with the child it's baggage he needs to run for the hills I mean the whole situation is just insane at the end of the day do what makes you happy do what you see fit you know what I'm
I'm saying? Don't base your relationship on other people's opinions. So anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire crazy situation. Once again, concerning Slim Thug, basically, you know, dissing Sierra and dissing Russell Wilson. Now, he did apologize, which was big of him. Do you guys accept his apology? Do you guys feel like it was sincere? Or do you feel like he's full of crap? All right, so I recorded this video earlier, and Sierra has finally spoken out about the situation. And basically, she's saying everything I already said in this video. She's reiterating, you know, what I was saying that, you know, she learned from her mistake and she moved on. So Sierra took to Twitter, and she says this. Let's not make things complicated when they don't need to be. Hashtag level up. Repeating the same bad habit over and over again is a form of insanity. There comes a point in your life when you know better and you have to do better. You owe it to yourself. It's just that simple. So that is Sierra's response to Slim Thug. And basically, she's correct. You know what I'm saying? What is the definition of insanity? Doing the same thing over and over again and expecting a different result. So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. All right. Deuces. <laughs> <laughs> hey you guys, it's your girl T and I hope you really enjoyed that video. If you want to know more about my look of the day or if you want a way to contact me concerning advertisement and sponsorship deals, definitely feel free to click my description box. There's plenty of information in there. Please stay tuned for the next video. Talk to y'all later.